So tell me, I like to get a band's origin story. So tell me kind of, and you can go as deep as you want on this, go back as far as you want, but kind of tell me how you guys came together and how this project started. Uh, so I think it was about 2010, 2011, um, my other band, Atreyu, well, we kind of went into hiding, um, you know, for the first half of our career, it was pretty much write a record, record the record, tour, and then do it all over again. You know, so we were doing that for better part of a decade. Um, so we decided to kind of just go on hiatus for a bit. And um, Bob Bradley, the bass player of Fake Figures, uh, we've known each other for years because he also kind of came up in the Orange County scene. Um, and we also, uh, Treyu also took his band, Scars of Tomorrow, on tour. So we've been friends for forever, really. Um, and he and I have always kind of had similar tastes in music, uh, similar vibes. So he had some riffs and I believe I had some riffs. So we figured let's, let's put something together, you know, just to have fun with it. And, um, got a few other friends to come into the fold and, um, recorded our first EP held the sick offense. And um, I think that was probably about 2012. Um, and yeah, we've just kind of been doing it ever since. Um, I mean, this isn't a, a full time band just because, you know, like I'm I'm obviously in a tray. So I've got that on my plate and all the other guys in the band, you know, they they've got jobs and they've got uh, wives and kids, some of them. So, um, yeah, I mean, we do fake figures whenever we can. Um, so for the most part, for all intents and purposes, it's, it's a passion project for all of us. Um, and we're just kind of, you know, the main goal is just to have fun with it and, um, just to, um, and see, see what we can do with it, how far we can take it. You know, we're not aiming for global domination as awesome as that would be, you know, we're, we've all been in bands, touring bands. So we know, you know, this isn't our first rodeo, so we're not going to have delusions of grandeur or anything, but, mm -hmm. um, if, you know, the main goal, like I said, is it's just to have fun and put some music out. Um, and if people dig it, that's awesome. If they don't, that's perfectly fine too. You know, we're just, we're out here just having fun. You're doing it for the right reasons. Yeah. 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 I mean, even if you are in an established touring band who does mod modestly well, there's, you know, even that there's not a whole lot of money in that too. Yeah. You know? So, but yeah, for now it's, it's just for fun. That's awesome. Where does the name come from? I was definitely curious about how you guys came up with the name fake figures. There's no real philosophical deep meaning behind it or anything. Um, if I remember correctly, uh, our original singer Russ and I were kind of, we were talking about the twilight zone and how like ahead of its time that show was even still to this day. I mean, that shows what over 60 years old, it's still, you know, it still resonates with me and, and a lot of people. Um, mm -hmm. but we were talking about a certain episode with, um, where a girl is in a, she gets locked in a department store and she ends up in this room full of mannequins and they start talking to her. And I just remember as a kid, how creepy that was. And, it was either me or Russ, our old singer, referred to them as like fake figures. And we both just kind of like looked at each other and went, dude, that sounds like a cool band name. <laughs> and that was it. 